In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to figure out what theme a site is using. There is a manual way and an automatic way. I'm going to show you the automatic one first, which doesn't work all the time. Then I'm going to show you the manual one, which also doesn't work all the time. Sometimes websites have hidden their theme. And in another tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can hide your theme as well. But in this one, we're going to talk about how to discover a theme that's being used on a website. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, you like WordPress tips, tricks, and hacks, and getting better at it, make sure you click on subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and then check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. That's where we talk WordPress all day long, so you can get even better at it after you watch these tutorials. So make sure you check that out, and with that out of the way, let's check out this screen capture. I'll see you there. Sometimes you come across a WordPress site or a website, you don't even know if it's WordPress, but you like their theme and you're wondering if it's either WordPress and if it is, what theme are they using? For example, if you come across this beauty right here, my demo site, which is more or less butchered because of all the stuff I do to it at random in these tutorials. So it's not the prettiest site, but it's a good example. We can get the URL of this site, let's copy that and then go to a place called, or Google, what, what theme is a site using? Should come up under that search. And the one I use is what WordPress theme is that? That's what it is. What WordPress theme is that? Then you paste in the URL here, click on search, and this will tell you, A, is it a WordPress site or not? And if it is a WordPress site, it will try to find out what theme is being used and what plugins are being run. So currently on my site back there, we have OceanWP on there. And it has information about that theme. And then it shows which plugins are on the site. And that's an easy way to figure out what theme is being run. Sometimes this doesn't work. So in those cases, first to test if it's, if it's a WordPress site, just type in forward slash WP login.php. If that takes you to a login page, it's a WordPress site, especially because most of these login pages are default and they'll have this WordPress symbol. By the way, if that goes to a login page, it's a WordPress site. If that doesn't take you to a login page, it might still be a WordPress site. So what you want to do is click on or right click on white space on the site and click on view page source. And if they have a plugin installed that changes the location of the login page, then using that little test I did earlier wouldn't work. But in the source code, there's going to be plenty of mentions of WordPress if it is a WordPress site. For example, we if we do a control F and search for WordPress, this site has a mention of it here in a Yoast comment. It has it here under plugins. There it is again, WordPress under the generator. And some of this stuff, stuff can be hidden. Another way to figure out which theme is being used, search for wp-content forward slash themes forward slash, and that should turn up what the active theme is. In this case, we have a folder name of Ocean WP, which tells us what the theme name is. And if that does not turn up anything, then they've obfuscated or hidden what their theme actually is. And inside of, say for example, this was, um, some theme whose name you didn't recognize as the folder name, then there would be a style sheet somewhere on this page that you can then open to see what the theme name is. But OceanWP seems to have obfuscated that as well. So if we go to styles dot or search for styles.css, we have a minified version of the style sheet. Hang on. Let's check for minified. I know OceanWP has a minified version of the style sheet. Here it is. Asset CSS style min. So this is a minified version of the style sheet that does not show us what theme is being used. We can maybe get the main style sheet by trying this. Oh, there it is. This is the main style sheet and in here, they don't have it written out what theme is being used. Normally at the very top of a WordPress style sheet, it says which theme, or it shows theme information for that style sheet. 
at the very top normally. OceanWP clearly does not. So I'm just going to activate a different theme so I can show you what it looks like to find the style sheet. It's going to go to appearance and then themes and then I'm going to activate one that I know for sure is going to work, 2017. I'm going to close all these extra source code tabs up here. Then I'll come out here and refresh. I'm going to right click in some white space, click on view page source and then search for style styles with an S dot CSS style.css there with no s so we have 2017 or wp content themes 2017 forward slash a style and a version number so if we open this up this is normally what you see at the top of a style or a top of uh, the main css for wordpress theme and shows you the theme name which is 2017 in this case it gives you a link to where that theme exists on the internet usually Themes are for sale or for download, and this would be a link to where you can find it. Shows you information about who wrote it and other general information. And if they were using a child theme, then there would be a template. Here we have license colon, version colon, author colon. There would be a template colon, and then that would provide the folder name for the main theme. So if their child theme is not named after the parent theme, you have to go by the template name of the parent theme to try to figure out or Google or research to find out what that main theme is called. And those are the two ways we can find out what the theme is. Hopefully the automated option works. If it doesn't, then you have to do the manual way, which requires some research and sometimes you just can't figure it out. And that's probably how the theme creator wants it. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe and the bell notification icon somewhere on the video up here, but on the page down below. And then check out the Facebook group linked to in the description down below. And after that, check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.